Now let's say if you're using the FSRM003 FlySky module which does not have the receiver memory function then in that case what you can do is you can edit the receiver ID so that you can bind multiple receivers to the module and that way you can avoid rebinding the receiver again. This is an optional step if you are using any other module or FlySky radio that can remember the receiver. But nonetheless, let me show you how to edit the receiver ID in case if you want to change it or set the receiver ID same across all the FlySky receivers or Donoji receivers. What you'll have to do is uh, go to this website or, or open any hex editor application that you can find. I just googled hex editor and I'm using this hexed dotted and I've linked this in the description so you can use this. So what I'll do is I'll click on open file and here I'll select the firmware file in which I want to edit the receiver ID that's to be flashed on the receiver. So for example I'll select the IA10B RSSI file and open that. And just as mentioned on the GitHub website, we have to edit the first four bytes at offset 0x1c00. So I'll copy that offset and paste it over here so that it can automatically detect or search that offset. So once you paste this offset in the go to uh, tab, and click on enter it will automatically highlight the offset 01c00 and if you look closely the first six bytes uh, have certain characters or numbers in them and basically the first four bytes are the receiver ID and that's what we will edit so to edit this what you can do is you can delete the first four bytes And then right click on the first byte and select insert bytes here and then type the number of bytes that we want to add so we have to add four bytes so i'll type in four and fill pattern you can leave it as it is and click on apply then here you'll see four bytes which have zero zero in them so click on the first byte and type in a number or a letter that you want to assign so for example I'll type in double one and it automatically selects the second byte double two double three and double four and once you assign the characters in the first four bytes you can save this file so click on save as and save it somewhere and then launch STM utility software and connect your receiver to the computer and then flash the receiver file in which you edited the receiver ID alright so after assigning the same receiver ID to all the three receivers I will now show you how we can connect them to the same transmitter module so first I'll power up the radio transmitter and I've already bound the receivers to the module so I'll simply power them up And as you can see that the LED on each receiver is solid red and that means they are bound to a transmitter. In this case the FSRM003 transmitter module. If I turn off the radio you can see all three receivers are blinking. So to summarize what we have done is we have basically assigned a binding phrase 
for all the receivers so that the transmitter module can bind and remember those receivers just like express LRS where we assign the binding phrase while flashing the firmware and if you have any other radio that does not support FlySky protocol then you can use this FlySky module and use it with your FlySky receivers and then you can implement this method as well so that's all I had to share in this video I hope you found this video helpful and informative so please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you are new and thanks a lot for watching